Man, this fog just won't quit. The weather yeah. report said it might start snowing soon. <laughs> what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Whoa, where'd you guys come from? Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. It's definitely been weird lately. It's... Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, Senpai? Gosh, she's such a tryhard. Jesus. It's annoying. Oh, this girl never changes. Yep. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. <laughs> guys put on your glasses! Mm-hmm. Whoa, it's all clear. Oh, what the hell's going on? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Then, um... Could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? Question is how. Huh? Well, you, you guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. <laughs> it's it's just a thought. <laughs> but now I thought I would ignore. Question is Anyways, how. Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Let's get them over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. <laughs> wow, we haven't used that name in a while. There will be dramatic turns in this story from this point on. It is strongly recommended that you take the opportunity to save. Yes, things are about to get Milton up in here. Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um, some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist of harmful substances. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Damn. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Oh, is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Konishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. Hmm. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. Mm -hmm. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? Hmm. Will Namatame confess? Whether he confesses or not, it was him who did everything. Getting him convicted is up to your uncle. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. 
Yep, and then he completed insanity, and uh, yeah. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Mm -hmm. How do you prove yes. that? There are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? It's a possibility. Hell's up with that! We all know he did it. You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets. They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. You'd be Saki surprised, Sakai. bro. No, not just her. Or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's his fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, too. Hmm. What's the matter? Eh, Katatsu. A Katatsu? Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Kotatsu. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock. All right, off to the houseware section for Nanako-chan! If we're getting a Kotatsu, we better get some oranges to complete the set. It's a cliche because it's true, damn it. The best compliment to a Kotatsu would be a heated rug. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. <laughs> oh yeah, you've never used a Kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. Can I lie. still stay here? You know what? I'll be honest with you. I forgot what a kotatsu was. Let me see. Kotatsu. Oh, it's a type of futon table. Interesting. Oh, they're expensive, though. I ain't gonna lie. It's a futon comforter. Well, the way that's set up, that's so interesting. It's a low wooden table frame covered by a futon or heavy blanket upon which a tabletop sits. Fascinating. You kept your promise to me, so I should be going back. But I don't want to go until Nana-chan gets better. Of course you can stay. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But I couldn't save Nana-chan. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys. Hey, go to my place. I got you. C can I really? That's right. You're just by yourself at home now, huh? Why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously. <laughs> you we're clear forget. on this, right? Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? Chie, I love you, but you've been doing this to Yosuke this entire time. Egregiously. Dude! The clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Y'all for well, real. Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Ugh. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. What? What did you just say? Did he stutter? Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Stay, Stay out, out of this! this. Good. <laughs> Yukiko has Let's every see, reason to laugh at this. Think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. But what would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? Hmm. You know what? A reset doll. That 
that's not really for kids. Eh, it's still pretty cute. Just like the real thing. <laughs> All right, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes! Sure, why not? And we'll bake the cake! Of course! Let's make it a cake to remember. Oh, no, you're not! Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? Let's, let's not forget, shall we, that, uh... Uh... Chi and Yukiko together are, like, asking to kill someone with food poisoning at this point. Whoa, wait a minute. Phone call from Adachi. Hello, this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. What? The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Come on, let's go. Yeah, this is, what, what happened to our kid? What happened to the kid here? You know, the least they could do is put some pillows on their head, please. Oh my God. Doctor, this fog is poisonous, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? They said so on TV. Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. Yo, this is about to bust his wounds back open. Dojima-san! Yo, Just put him back in the wheelchair. Jesus. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. Nanako. Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? Yo, tell you don't know what, what's causing this. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but... Damn it. What does this have to happen to a little girl like her? Look, we all feel the same way, man. Why'd it turn out like this? Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? You guys still here? Damn yeah, right. How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs. There's no way that'll stand up in court. No yep. one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. Yeah, that last one. That last one. Not once has it been revealed how he actually did the thing. Because all we see is them hanging upside down on a, on a freaking TV antenna up, up outside. But nothing of if they got strangled, if he, you know, or, or anything. And Dojima-san knows it. Well... Ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? Kanji smells something awesome. You wanna see awesome. that stuff so bad? We'll show you! Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! Hey, stop! What the? Is Nanako-chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. All right, let's go. What the hell? What the 
What's going on? No. Nanako-chan. Of course, it has to be room 404. You know how bad that sounds. Hang in there. Nanako-chan. Nanako-chan. Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. <sighs> Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. Damn. How's Nanako? She's in critical condition, bro. Doctor. Okay, she's calm down. Big bro. It's a good thing we maxed out her uh, arcana, so. I'm right here. Sorry, sir. No. Damn it. Damn it. Nana Chan. did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Dojima-san, what's with that look? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? What? He, he really is uh, saying it like wait, that? Is, is Nanaka-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec. That's the way to... out loud he's the suspect in the case what are you getting mad at me for this is the biggest hospital and he's in no condition to be moved where is this room i can't tell you that you sure about that just tell us where he is already dojima son's on his way ain't he you don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him kanji kun you don't mean yeah, hold on just what are you guys talking about Cough it up! Where's this room? I love Kanji. <laughs> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. So? You guys have a bunch of toilet paper for cops anyway. Most useless police ever, seriously. I... I was always watching over Nana-chan. And I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. 
Even though I was the only Teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... <laughs> So sad. <laughs> Yo. Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Like we said, without permission. Permission? Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's. She's all I have! She's... Uh, the only one in the world. Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room. I'll go alert the doctors. Jima son, was he seriously gonna? His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai. And now Nanako chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right! Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? Boy, is this an uncomfortable conversation. It's one of those things in life that really, really sucks testicles. Like, you know how many people that actually are not terrible? And their lives get cut short. And they don't get to enjoy it. Meanwhile, you got assholes like Namatame. They get to go off scot free like nothing happened. Well, not that nothing happened, but almost with little consequence. It happens in life a whole lot. <sighs> Meanwhile, he's right there. He's got like two <sighs> whole beds for himself. <sighs> trying to escape, huh? I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom, too? It's your fault that Nanako Chun's... I... I didn't. I... Whoa, Dude, buddy. Clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this... I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got in my way. way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. That's what we thought. No, come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Then... Mm -hmm. He wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law! I will never forgive what you did! This... Please! Stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you. Oh, hold on now. No, 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 no. Something's not right with all this. Do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission.
Mission? My god. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I... I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you... serious? You just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... What... What's gotten into you guys? This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Cheer! Everyone! Listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? You would think, given that he has a shadow now, in there, we go face that actual shadow. While also throwing him in the TV with him, so we force him to face himself. After we beat his shadow Zess. I can't let something but like that go. Problem with that is that someone it's just... close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But, but, Yosuke... All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. No, it's not. J just no, it's not. P push him inside? It's not gonna end this fog. This fog, is, we don't even know where if how the fog is no leaking out here. Just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing could make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? Uh, wait a second. We don't have time to wait. If we don't yes, do we this do. now, the cops will come back. Yeah, what are you trying to say? Listen, we're missing something. Something we don't know. What don't we know? Now I'm telling you true feelings. But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV. <sighs> what didn't you understand? Something's bothering me. Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? Uh, we're missing something, dude. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Yeah, you need to calm the hell down, boy. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. I don't know about that, hey, buddy. What did don't you make me mean punch by you again. We're missing something. What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? How do you know about the TV world? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. Yep, nothing. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But... 
Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. I'll tell you what his rationale is. I did it for The Rock. I did it for The Rock. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. <clears throat> Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. Let's just think for now. Jeez. How the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> All right. Let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right. Together. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. Bingo, Max out there food. Let's watch. We get Loki, which I could have fused and made at any point. But this is how you get basically. You get all the way to the end the first time around, and there you go. And rest assured, had I chosen to toss this sucker into the TV, um, it would have gone very well. But I'll tell you what I will do for you guys. I will indulge you guys with seeing all the endings, which I have saved in the video collection. So. I'll show you what happens in that regard. And now, the Awakening of the Judgment Arcana, which is, you know, the end game, blah, blah, blah. Again, it's kind of, kind of, kind of stupid. You know, it's like Judgment Day. Whatever. Hey, you guys? What are you doing? You can't be in here. Well, we're here. Don't worry, Doc. We didn't beat we him up. Keeping an eye on the suspect. Don't worry. I promise you, we didn't let the him escape. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation. Yep. And their trust in you, Adachi-san. Yep. Oh. Because you did see. <laughs> we'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. Provided he doesn't do something so, else. If you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. Oh, duh, we were agitating him he by being He seems stupid. fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. We've been messed up. He was trying to get out the window and commit suicide. They'll be like, oh, this guy not only trying to get off, about to get off the hook, he's about to eat himself to make sure. F out of here with that. Understood. We should go too. Let's get back to Nanako chan's room. Okay. So, what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Yep. Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? Yeah, but so what led him to believe that? he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, 
so they called in Namatame for questioning. Mm -hmm. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her... It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh... I don't really get any of this. Oh, this is so confusing! Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. Huh? What's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go! Oh no, Teddy. Where am I? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. Yeah. That's right, Nana chan. I. I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. Th that's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guys! Sensei! What should I do? Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So... so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... <laughs> oh my god... I... I... <laughs> this is amazing! Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> Come thought. on! Stop crying, you two! You all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <laughs> You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. 
I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Oh, there you are. Just get I forgot to tell you. Don't pull that again, okay? You can't just meet with the suspect like that. Anyway, I came to give you an update on Dojima-san. His wounds opened up a little, but he's treated now, and he's fast asleep. Thank you. He'll be all right. Don't worry. Knowing him, by this time tomorrow, he'll be on his feet and yelling at people again. Uh, don't tell him I said that. Anyway, I heard Nanako-chan's on the road to recovery again. You guys were being so dramatic that I got really worried. But this is good news. She'll be well again in no time. Mm. By the way, you're all alone at the house now, right? Well, enjoy your freedom while you can. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan will be back soon after all. Well, I better head back. You go home too, before it gets too late. Uh, see ya. Hmm. I don't trust this fucker. I really don't. Couldn't save. I couldn't save. Why? Mayumi. And that girl too. I couldn't save them. Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. Hmm. Meanwhile. I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Turn it back on. No messages. <laughs> Go home before you catch a cold. Oh, let's get the veggies. 